and we have lift off as you guys can see here bitcoin bounced exactly where we were pointing out that bottom of the channel that 52 to 50k area that we spoke about yesterday we spoke about it on wednesday we spoke about it on monday so if you guys watched yesterday's video and bought the dip raise your hand put them up high don't be afraid now take that hand and give yourself a nice high five. You deserve it. But if you missed yesterday's video and did not buy the dip, shame. But don't worry because today and well this weekend, you have another opportunity to make some profits. Do you want to know how? Of course you do. Stay tuned to the end to find out. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful traders. The goal of this channel is to empower you guys with the knowledge and resources to bring it all together and take you up to that next level. So if you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe, make sure to smash the like and turn on that notification bell so that you guys are notified as soon as we post videos five times a week. So today we will be doing an analysis on both Bitcoin and Ethereum to see what the chart is currently showing us and what we can possibly see over the next few days now that the options have expired. Then of course, we're gonna hit you guys with some trade setups that we're going to be watching for the weekend. But first, let's go ahead and start with some daily news. Today, a Bloomberg intelligence analyst said that Bitcoin can reach $400,000 in 2021 as a risk off reserve asset. You can see it on the chart here exactly what they're looking at. And this actually dwarfs other really bullish price uh, predictions that was set. For example, the stock to flow model that says that Bitcoin should reach around 288,000 by 2024. In other news, option traders are targeting $80,000 by May. That's right, $80,000. With Coinbase's highly anticipated direct IPO expected to take place next month, option traders are expecting on Bitcoin to soar to new all-time highs. Option traders are targeting that price point more than any other strike price by at least 50%. As you can see here, $80,000 is the strike price that the majority of option traders are currently putting in their bets on. And the biggest put bet is for $40,000. However, data suggests that that's only about a 6.19% chance of Bitcoin actually reaching that price level. But remember, this is Bitcoin where it doesn't care about probability or odds. Remember that April is historically a bullish month for Bitcoin. Historical data shows that Bitcoin has seen profit in April in eight out of the last 10 years. So that includes last year where we had a 34 and a half percent profit. In 2019, it had a 28% profit. In 2018, it had a 33% profit. So hang on to your hat, folks. We might be going for a ride. So let's go ahead and take a look here at Bitcoin. As you guys can see, we are back over the trillion dollar mark. Currently, the fear and greed index is showing a 54, which is a neutral position. If we take a look here at the chart of Bitcoin, you can see that we got rejected. So Monday, Monday's video, we were right here. And I said we were at the top of that channel. So you had to be careful and any entries that you took here, you had to, you know, use very small risk on it because again, we're at the top of the channel. As you saw, we did not break above. We got rejected and we got taken down all the way to the bottom of this channel. So remember, we spoke about this. This channel was already drawn since Monday and we covered exactly where what could happen if a rejection happened. So I said if there was a rejection, I expected it to touch the bottom of the channel at some point and I expected that bounce to be between 52k 
150k right and where do we go we went exactly to that spot 52 to fifty thousand dollars now another spot it could have gone down to was 48 um i know there's a lot of buyers down there but we did not go that low you know this channel here was able to hold us and give us that bounce back up and that's currently what we're doing so now we're going to continue up and i believe over the weekend now that the uh, bitcoin option contracts have expired we don't have as much downward pressure anymore so we should hopefully over the weekend kind of you know work our way over here like you know this is just from what I said, my thoughts on it, but my opinion was April 1st could be a good day for a breakout here. So a breakout is gonna be basically above that 55K level here, right? That's gonna be possibly where the breakout could happen. It depends how long it takes. You know, if we take the weekend, uh, today's the 26, so let's see, 27, 28. I mean, over the 27, 28, if, if we do just shoot up really hard, then that breakout would be a little bit higher, right? The breakout would probably be more towards that 57 to $58,000 range. But if the breakout, if the breakout doesn't happen till the first, which could be, in my opinion, is when it could be, because that's gonna be a new candle. There's a lot of bullish sentiment in April. April has always been a bullish month. So like we just said, so, that's why I'm expecting a breakout there out of this channel where we could possibly run up to around 57 something, possibly come back down, either test that 55K range again, or we might just continue up, test that 60K range, you know, maybe come back down to uh, 58 and then possibly retest this previous all time high here. Now, Obviously, I'm just, you know, throwing up possible situations and there's so many different variations and scenarios of this that, that could go on. But that's one of the scenarios that could happen. So um, we're going to be building basically our trade setups and our watch list around the idea of that breakout happening. You see, as far as the RSI goes, we're in the neutral area, which is a good sign. Like we spoke about before. Every time that we get into that overbought area, we get a dump, right? So we dumped down, we saw it right there, and we, we touched on this subject last week probably. I said that every time we're in overbought on this on the four hour, you see overbought, we had a dump down, and it happened again. So from now on, let's we're gonna keep an eye on that to make sure that we let you guys know every every time we're oversold. Uh, it could lead to another dump. As far as my target here um, in Bitcoin, if and when we see that uh, breakout, like we, we spoke about, we touched on it a few times, I'm expecting a breakout to the $70,000 range. So so the option betters are pretty close. They're, they're very close to, to my price bet. If we break out on April 1st, I'm expecting a move up to $70,000. That is my price prediction. That is my price target for Bitcoin. So the $80,000 prediction by option traders is a lot more bullish than mine, but my number is $70,000. Remember that I also called uh, the breakout here when we broke out of this same exact pattern that we're watching right here right now. When we had that breakout, I called the same exact target. If you guys go back and, and watch those videos, I think that I actually called for a price of 62,000. And with this measurement though, once I measured it, it gave me the price of 58. So when we broke out here, we got to that price of 58, which was exactly where um, that measurement led. If you use the bull flag theory, where you measure from the top, from the bottom of the pole to the top of the pole, and then you put it out here and you measure it starting off where the breakout happens. So once we did that, it gave us a price target of 58 and we went up to 58. And then once this happened, we told you guys we measured the bottom of this to the top of this. And we told you guys that our price prediction with a breakout here was 62. And guys, it went directly to 62K. 
So we've been right on both of these predictions here. Now we're calling for 70K. Obviously this number can change. We can't say it in, you know, we, we're not 100% sure. Obviously we're never gonna be 100% sure of it on any call, but um, this price could change depending where we end up breaking out. So if we end up breaking out on April 1st, um, then my price prediction is $70,000. If we, for some reason, break out, you know, at some point this weekend, sometime before, then my price prediction could be as high as uh, around $72,000. So that's basically gonna be my range as far as price prediction between 70 to $72,000. It just, it depends highly on where we break out of. That's gonna be the biggest uh, thing here, I would say. So depending where our breakout happens is where that price target is going to be. So make sure once we see some sort of breakout um, that you tune into our video so we can give you that number. In Ethereum, more of the same here. As you guys can see, if you look at Ethereum and you put it next to Bitcoin, they're basically you know, the same pattern here. So they're very correlated. You see here that I've just uh, brought the Bitcoin price in to just kind of see what it looks like with Ethereum as well. And it's basically the same exact price movement, right? So you can see the same, same movements here going down, going down, and now it's getting a bounce. Now we're getting a bounce. Um, the only thing that e the difference here is that Ethereum is usually a little bit more exaggerated in both directions. So it's a little bit more volatile uh, than Bitcoin because obviously Bitcoin has a bigger market cap. So it doesn't move as far as percentages that big while uh, Ethereum still does. So with this move down right here, this move right here went down to about almost 20 percent here for Ethereum compared uh, to Bitcoin here. So, so that's just pretty much how, how you want to think of Ethereum as far as correlation to Bitcoin is that basically it's an exaggerated Bitcoin amount pretty much. And that's always going to be in both directions. If, he, if Bitcoin drops 5%, Ethereum might drop uh, 10%. If Bitcoin jumps 5%, Ethereum might jump 20%. You know what I mean? So now it's not always, but it's a little bit more volatile and a, a little bit more high risk, high reward when you're trading it. So here we're basically watching the same thing for Ethereum. We're now back inside this channel. So basically this, the bottom of this channel is going to be support. That should be around that 1600 area for now. If we continue up, the only the next resistance really is that 1720 area, right? So that 1720 area is going to be the next resistance. The channel break is probably going to be around that 17. It might be around the 1720 to 1750 area. It just depends when we get that when we get that break. So if we look at this, a possible scenario here would be probably around the same time. Let's say April 1st happens. Look at that where it's exactly where that 1720 mark would be, which is this previous resistance also previous support many times and another previous resistance. So it kind of makes sense that it's going to coincide with the previous resistance and support. It's also a Fibonacci level, as you guys can see here, it's that Fib, Fib level right there, that 23.6% level. And it's also going to be where this trend line, descending trend line on this channel is. So it's going to have to break all those levels in order to break through and continue up to previous highs, uh, basically 1800, 1900, 2K, right? So if we say, if we use the same uh, theory for the bull flag breakout, right? And we place where the breakout could potentially be, which would be right around here is where I'm putting all my breakouts currently, which is for April 1st. If we saw the breakout on April 1st, then our target given by the bull flag price target theory, once it continues up, is gonna be up to around that $2,200 area. So that's currently the levels that we're watching there for Ethereum. We're waiting to see if we can get that break around that 1720 area with, where there should be a lot of price action there. But once we get that break, uh, we should shoot back up to around at least 1850 you know, to 2000 with that price target being around 22 to 2250. Alrighty guys, so, so far we've covered the daily news. We've done both analysis on uh, Bitcoin 
and Ethereum, including some price targets if we get this bounce out and break out from its current bull flag pattern. And on next, we're going to talk about some trade setups that we're going to be watching this weekend over the next three days, including today. So if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Don't forget to turn on that notification bell and smash that like button, guys. Let's get this video to over 100 likes. As always, if you have any questions about anything we're covering today, drop it in the comments. I'm always happy to answer those questions for you guys. So let's jump into some trade setups. Alrighty guys, so first off, we're starting off with Bitcoin, of course. So this entry is going to be, this first entry that we're going to be watching here is going to be above this Fibonacci level. Also, it's gonna be up close basically with the descending channel. So we're gonna be looking to buy above this channel probably on the breakout of this channel that 55k area is going to be the number that we're watching that's the first number we're watching we want a breakout above 55k obviously the the time when it breaks out is going to also matter so the number could kind of change depending how fast the price moves and what happens and, and when the time is because if we get it like right here for example this is just before 55 and the breakout here this would be if the breakout happened in the next two days and then we're talking about 56k more or less as far as the breakout area here. But if we get a breakout at the end of the weekend or towards the beginning of next week, then we're watching this area right here where we have these two together. Regardless, 55 has been a big number as you guys can see here. It's provided both support and resistances for Bitcoin. So that's gonna be the first breakout that we're watching this weekend. If we do break out of 55 and continue up, then that next level we're watching is gonna be right around this area right here where you've seen all this price action here so that's right around that 57 57.5 area possibly even 58 so we'll say 57.5 just to play right in the middle of those but it's basically between 57 to 58 remember guys that uh, trading is never specific numbers is more like a range so that's the range that we're going to be watching um, for that next breakout there above 57 above 58 so that kind of puts us right at uh, 57.5 of course beyond that we're watching the 60k area where we've been rejected the last few times and then beyond that we're going to be looking at the previous all-time high to um, enter above that now in the event that we uh, continue you know just kind of consolidating maybe in in this general area what we're looking for here what we're going to be watching for is entries at 52k 52k is a number that we like there um, so we're going to be watching for entries there possibly even 52.5 that's a little bit riskier but that's a, definitely also a possible entry there and beyond that then obviously that number is going to be right around here which is fifty thousand dollars that's going to be that next level that we're watching if it continued down and beyond that fifty forty eight thousand dollars is that next level that we're watching for all of these obviously the price has to dip in order to to reach these remember that we don't enter trades on on while the price is falling we enter while the price is bouncing so for example if the price goes like this and it doesn't reach 50 but it, then it starts bouncing again you're gonna execute that entry at 52 so 52 would be your entry right and if it doesn't reach 52 then uh, 55 is gonna be your entry so um, that's basically, you know, how we're, gonna, we're looking to enter on bounces uh, from support. In Ethereum, we're pretty much uh, looking at the same thing here. That first entry here is at that 1600 level, which is right around this range. And so in the event that we're kind of doing this right here, that 1600 level would be a good uh, bounce entry there. Remember that we want a test and then a bounce up. That next level is going to be, so I like 1650 the issue with 1650 is that it's kind of right in the middle of the range right now 
um, but I still do like it because it is it's kind of in the middle but I mean the middle will be right here the middle of the channel so it's still towards the bottom of the channel so 1650 kind of where it's at right now is a possible entry but that next that main breakout entry we're looking at is 1720 that's gonna be that big number right there um, that can take us out you know possibly back to 2k so that's the level that we're watching there um, in the event that we do go lower then we're watching here 1560 and 1550 i don't think it'll go below that but in the event that it did um, those are the levels that we're watching and that is a wrap for this week guys uh we hit you guys with the news we hit you guys with some analysis and now we hit you with some trade setups for this weekend that we're going to be watching to hopefully make us all some profits that's the whole idea of this guys is to not only give you the knowledge but to show you guys exactly what we're watching to hopefully make all of us profits so if you've enjoyed this video so far make sure that you subscribe if you're not subscribed yet also make sure to smash that notification bell so that you guys are notified as soon as we're on and smash that like button for us man we're trying to get over 100 likes again you guys killed it on the previous video where we hit over 200 likes so that 100 should be easy so i hope you guys have an amazing weekend guys i hope you guys make a lots and lots of profits next week i will be in mexico so monday i'll be doing i'll be trying to figure out how i'm gonna make my video and then um, i'm pre-recording some tutorials and then reviews for next week until i'm back on friday to hit you guys with a brand new market analysis so i will see you guys next week as always peace and love